the weather was great today, so we decided to get out and take a walk and vlog a little bit. Today we are on the, what was it, John B. Stevenson Trail? It's over here in Berea. Looks kind of cool. It's paved. Yeah. Seems like an easy trail. Uh-huh. Very. We've never been here before, so we might as well check it out. Looks like some apple trees. But yeah, just to give you all kind of a scope. That's all this is right by a subdivision. subdivision. Yeah. That tree's got a nest of worms in it. We have to burn that off. The thing about that's really cool about checking out these parks and trails and different things here in Berea is you kind of get caught up in living in a town and you really don't realize the cool things that are right around you. You just take it for granted. I mean, we live 15 minutes away from this trail. As you go along the trail, obviously you've got your normal park trash cans and little benches if you need to stop and take a rest. It's supposedly accessible for bikes and was it the roller, they say roller skates? The pamphlet even said wheelchairs. Obviously bikes, you okay? We got a family biking behind us. Boys will be boys. He's over there herping, I do believe. We found a nice little creek. It actually seems pretty healthy. Nice little falls right there. Little running water. Scott found a stick down there. That looks pretty. You and you and Jordan would so be in that fork. Yeah, because we found a fork. We could either follow that path or this path. So are we going this way? I guess. We're gonna follow the creek. Found another little opening into the creek. We found a bridge, another path down to the creek. Right now, we're down here on the creek bed. And if you look over here, the creek is actually coming at a fork. Goes back over here beyond these trees. And the fork meets right about there. One thing you have to love about Kentucky, and that is its nature. We certainly do have a lot of nice trails, a lot of nice forests. Silver Creek and Bushy Fork branch of Silver Creek converge. Mm -hmm. This marks a crossing point where Daniel Boone and trailblazing parties boarded the creek while blazing the trail from Long Island on the Holston River, now Kingsport, Tennessee, through the Cumberland Gap to Boonesboro in March and April of 1775. This was the first road ever into Kentucky. Now guys, would you know that this person was so stressed earlier? This is Scott's finals week in college. The trails made him feel a whole lot better. I kind of need this walk. I found this little off shooting trail here by the bridge. Not sure where that goes. It may like go really nowhere. It may just go right back over to another overlook of the creek. So that's something we'll have to check out sometime soon. But I think for now we're going to follow the main trail. Over here's another picnic table. Might have to bring a picnic out here sometime. Nice. That's pretty cool. We'll to... I like that, but I don't know who would carry out their grilling supplies all the way. I know. Like take a wheelbarrow. <laughs> down under the creek it's very flat and the stone is almost cut into squares and I don't know what would have done that I know a road used to run through here but I really don't think this would have been the road we successfully completed one of the trails or one of the paths on this trail yep. and it leads out to a road you can see behind us this has been a really nice easy path for people that maybe aren't 
extremely fit or haven't been used to hiking some massive trails. It's extremely flat. I understand now why they say that it's accessible for even wheelchairs, but at the same time it gives you a nice little experience of there being trees and a creek. And yeah, you are behind a subdivision and all of sorts, but it's still a nice little experience. It is, and it's even secure. There was a cop patrol like. Yeah, so if you're someone that's a little bit antsy about taking a hike out in the wilderness, uh, this would be kind of the hike for you. It's a nice little easy walk and it's safe and it's paved. <laughs>